So, I see all this Trump and Russia stuff on the news. I spoke of in my intro video. Trump isn't really a leader that has any power. He's simply a figurehead put in there to maintain the illusion of democracy and to keep us, the normal people, separated. Ideologically separated. So this all reminds me, Trump's rhetoric against the deep state is nothing but lies. They want to put you off guard. But this all reminds me of the last president who really stood up to the deep state and died because of it. John F. Kennedy. I think it was like last year or the year before the uh, CIA came out with, um, they, um, what's the word, declassified information. Ignore that. It's all bullshit. Government lies. It's trace the sources. Where does it come from? Nothing. Backroom deals. Someone came up with it to trick us. The deep state is the tool of the Illuminati. It is the tool of the Shadow Council that is running everything on the planet. You want to know what really happened to Kennedy? He was assassinated by the FBI. It wasn't the KGB. It wasn't Castro. It wasn't the drug cartel. It wasn't LBJ, though he probably knew who did it. It was the FBI, the deep state. Leo Harvey Oswald was just a scapegoat. He was someone who knew the truth. That's why they, he ended up getting killed as well. Think about it. Goes to trial, surrounded by police and bodyguards, just to get shot right after he supposedly kills the president. You think they're going to let something like that happen to such a high-profile suspect just to get shot out in the blue? No. It's lies. He knew the truth, and they wanted to silence him. Because they knew if they took him to court, he would squeal. And then everyone would, would know. Sure, the public media would call it off as lies. And maybe a good chunk of the people would believe it. But there would be, still be a decent chunk of the population where that little tiny weeny weeny bit of doubt sticks with. They knew that. Those fuckers knew that. So what did they do? They killed him before he could croak. Before he could squawk. That's what happened to Lee Harvey Oswald. He's not really an assassin. He's a scapegoat. It was a um, FBI agent. Actually, I would say two FBI agents if you look at the directory of the bullets. One being in the original um, warehouse where they said Harvey, or, uh, Lee Harvey Oswald was. And the other one from another direction. The opposite direction. Have you ever looked at the video and noticed a, um, an old woman? And then you'll watch, um, you watch it really co closely. You realize this woman just randomly disappears. Probably an agent of the deep state. Keep him watch to make sure the target was on point. You also can tell LBJ. Originally, there was going to be two Secret Service men riding behind JFK. And then LBJ told him to leave. So again, an accomplice of the, of the deep state. Like I said, he wasn't the one who pulled the trigger. Or even probably wasn't even the one who hired the one to pull the trigger. But he was simply another puppet instilled to do the bidding of the Illuminati. Again, I get you're saying, Steve, you're a fucking nut job. Lee Harvey Oswald was the one who killed Kennedy. It's fucking obvious. It's on video. But trust me. Do you ever see him pull the trigger? Do you? Think about it. Do, have you seen him pull the trigger? No? So how do you know it was him? Do you trust what the government tells you? All the time. Remember back in the Bush era? When they told you that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction? Or you can even see it now. With this bullshit of Russia hacking our elections. There are no real elections. Our elections are never hacked. Because they're never actual legitimate elections to begin with. It's all bullshit. Wake up. Come on, wake up. Think about it. Putin's a puppet just like Trump is. They own the whole world. Kim Jong-un has about as much power as Donald Trump. Or has as much, as much power as maybe someone like me. Because they don't have power. They just exist to be a talking head in front of a camera. That's all they're there for. Any one of them who actually tries to step up gets killed. Think about it. Kennedy? Dead. Dead. Saddam Hussein. Everyone thinks he's this crazy dictator, which, by the way, he may or may not have been. I don't maybe think he had as much power as people think he did. He tried to take power back. So what happened? The deep state got involved. The Illuminati got involved. And they had him taken out. All this bullshit in Afghanistan, you hear government intrigue, it's just there to create democracy, or it's there to stop the opium trade, or it's there to stop Islamic extremism. Islam Islamic extremism is a tool of the deep state. It's a bunch of bullshit. Every faction that exists that is a big player on the map, a big actor on the, in this game of global chess, is under control, whether directly or indirectly, by the deep state and the Illuminati. Sure, there are small groups, 
but they're nothing of significance. Any leader who speaks up dies. Kennedy, Saddam, and then there's Robert Kennedy, also killed, ironically. Think about it. Is, do you ever think it's weird with them a couple years of each other, both the Kennedy brothers getting killed? Or maybe it's that JFK knew something, and Robert Kennedy was in his inner, inner circle because he was his brother. Might have told him a few things he shouldn't have. And maybe Robert Kennedy was going to try to stick up to this power that subjugates us all. And what happened to him? He was shot to death in a restaurant. Think about it. Name one president af after JFK who has stood up to the deep state. Besides Trump, because Trump's obviously a ploy. Come on. You think a multi-billionaire really gives a shit about the well-being of everyday people? And is willing to risk his neck for them to out the FBI? No. This is a ploy, people. He's not going to be impeached. He's not going to face any consequences. This is all just a show. Had the talking heads talk a bit to keep everybody distracted. Keep us separated. To keep us from working together. Because if we work together, we'll eventually find out that they run everything. And when that happens, we can overthrow them. That's what they fear most, people. That's what they fear most. Alright, this is Steve. This is Truth Bomb. And I'm signing out.